A welcome to study support. Let us discuss the most expected objective questions on environmental pollution. We have already done one video on environmental pollution. Now let us discuss our second video on uh, environmental pollution. Let us move to the questions. Uh, biochemical oxygen demand measures industrial pollution, air pollution, pollution capacity, dissolved oxygen needed by microbes to decompose organic waste. Bio oxygen demand it measures the dissolved oxygen needed by microbes to decompose organic waste. What is bio oxygen uh, demand? It is it is also called a biological oxygen demand. Uh, it is the amount of dissolved oxygen needed that is demanded by aerobic bio biological organisms to break down organic matter uh, present in a given water sample at certain temperature over a specific period of time. So BOD, it is just amount of dissolved oxygen needed to break down organic matter. The ratio of BOD and COD, biochemical oxygen demand and chemical oxygen demand, it will be always less than one. Uh, biochemical oxygen demand in a river water uh, it increases when sewage gets mixed with water. Uh, BOD of a pound is related to uh, it is related to all the microbes in per unit volume of water. It is not only related to the all the plants, all the nicktons, all the animals, but it is related to all the microbes uh, in water. Next question: Excess fluoride in drinking water is likely to cause it is likely to call cause the fluoresis uh, see fluorides are given out during refining of metals uh, and it causes the disease called fluoresis uh, which affects our teeth as well as our bones so fluoride pollution mainly affects it affects the teeth and if there is also bones so it affects the teeth as well as the bones Noise pollution is measured in noise pollution is measured in decibels. Pollutants having most lasting effect are uh, pesticides, smoke, uh, sulfur dioxide, carbon monoxide. The answer is pesticides. Pesticides have most lasting effects. Which of the following pollutants is discharged by jet planes? Photochemical oxidants carbon monoxide, smoke, aerosols. The answer is aerosols. So the pollutant discharged by jet planes is aerosols. See aerosols are chlorofluorohydrocarbon compounds that are released into air with force in the form of vapor and main source of emission uh, is jet planes where the fluorocarbons are used. And these chlorofluorocarbons deplete our ozone layer and which protects us from the ultraviolet radiation. So these are the pollutants which are released by jet planes. The atmosphere of big metropolitan cities like Delhi, like Mumbai, like New York, like Tokyo, like Karachi, uh, these are polluted mostly by automobile exhausts. Most harmful environmental pollutants are non-biodegradable chemicals. So these are the most harmful environmental pollutants. The major contributor of carbon monoxide is motor vehicles. So motor vehicles contribute to carbon monoxide into the atmosphere. The most common indicator organism that represents polluted water, uh, it is E. coli. See E. coli is most common indicator of water pollution. It uh, usually occurs into the uh, in the intestines of human beings and animals, and uh, they are commonly found in sewage. And if E. coli is detected in water, then it indicates facial contamination. And uh, if E. coli is in water, that water should not be used for drinking. In coming years, skin-related disorders will be more common due to water pollution, depletion of ozone layer, pollutants in air, use of detergents. In coming years, skin related disorders will be more common due to depletion of ozone layers. Why? 
see ozone layer is a shield it is a shield that is present in uh, ultraviolet uh, in uh, stratosphere and it protects us from it shields us from the ultraviolet radiations and with the depletion of ozone layer uh, the ozone uh, hole gets created and if ozone hole will uh, if the ozone layer will get thin it will allow the ultraviolet radiation is to reach the earth and it would increase occurrence of cataract uh, it is a eye disease skin cancers uh, herpes dimming of eyesight photo burning deficient functioning of immune system so uh, the depletion of ozone layer that will allow the ultraviolet radiation is to come to the earth that definitely will have adverse effects for organisms living uh, on the earth which of the following is the use of lichens in cause of in case of pollution uh, the use of lichens in case of pollution they are promote pollution no they don't promote the pollution lichens are not related with pollution no they are related with the pollution they treat the polluted water no they act as bio indicators of pollution so this is the answer lichens as i already discussed in my first video that lichens are plants that grow on rocks or some structures or even the trunks of the trees but the uh, lichens grow in uh, fresh air and if there is sulfur dioxide in the atmosphere lichens will not grow so lichens act as bio indicators of pollution then there is a uh, person is working in cement plants and limestone quarries are more prone to disease like cancer asthma silicosis fluorosis the answer is silicosis silicosis is uh, it is a form of occupational lung disease it is also called minor pethysis grinders asthma potter's rot and uh, it is due to the exposure to silica dust uh, for many years and silicosis particularly the acute form is characterized by shortness of breath cough fever uh, sinusitis that is blush skin uh, thanks for watching uh, my next two videos on environmental pollution will follow so i request to you always please keep sharing keep helping thanks for watching